All right, guys. It's full delivery day. And I delivered it myself. But the Cummins. So here we go. What do we got here? We have got a Hayward heat pump pull heater. And we got the uprights for the pool. See, these are all the uprights. And of course, we got the tractor. If you don't think you need a front end loader, trust me, you do. Because, I mean, it makes stuff like this when it's a one, when you know, there's only one man doing it, and this stuff's so heavy to pick up. Guess what? You bring the tractor out. You load it on the bucket, go set it down. So basically all I had to do is slide it over, so I'm coming in and lower the bucket down and just slide it over and put it on the ground. Here's the um, here's the wall. It's an all resin, all resin wall. Here's the liner. There's the skimmer. And there's my existing pump and uh, sand filter, which I'm not getting rid of. This thing works great. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I, I hope the pump's gonna work. I know this is fine. So what else? There's where I'm putting the pool. And uh, I've got to level it off, so I'm gonna use a laser level and get it level. This is the deep end over here, and that's the shallow end. If you watch my videos, if you guys watch my videos, you'll see where I talk about how we had a redneck pool. It was uh, it was not level at all. And then what else do we have? We got. We got the Aquatrol salt coordinator system, and I got some kind of instant cover here. I'm not really sure. They just threw that in with it. I'm not sure what that's gonna do. And oh, by the way, deck update. Um, I got this whole deck uh, done yesterday. I spent all day yesterday doing this deck, and I think it turned out, and I think it turned out really good. Let me show you all this deck a little closer up. So we know we got the steps already. I got this much done, but I can't do I can't do the rest down here until we get this pool installed. So that's next on my list of things I have to do. Um, let's see. So here's the upper portion of the deck. I picture framed it. That looks really good. And I got it all the way up against the house over here. I had to use uh, face net face screws over there because I couldn't use my uh, uh, edge tool anymore getting that close, but it looks really good guys Got my post up already I'm ready to put my railings up once I get all my decking boards in so we're making progress
So here's what I've gotten done so far with the uh, pool grating. Um, I put the posts up here by the deck so I can get my grade based on where these posts are sitting. And uh, I've got my rotating laser level over here. I've got my stick with my receiver over here. And I'm going to go around and uh, see how close I am to grade with these, uh, with these posts. Putting the old Kubota, well, it's not old, but you get the idea. Putting the Kubota to use here. And uh, honestly, I think I've been watching too much Let's Dig 18 because I slicked it up. I know he likes to call it slicking up, but I put that tractor to work and I've got it slicked up and I've pulled all this dirt back. I had to take a lot of dirt out of here and uh, so I can get grayed because my old pool was not level at all so i had to pull a lot of a lot of dirt out of here and i had a lot of piles of dirt so i went ahead and just graded it and made my backyard look better but i mean i didn't have any grass back here anyway for the most part so that's that's good topsoil so i've got some fescue i'm gonna plant it back here and i, I probably have better grass back here than anywhere else in the whole yard but uh yeah i'm gonna go see if i got grade with my laser here and uh if i don't i'll go drag some more back with that bucket all i'm doing is just dragging i'm not digging in and you know cutting any out because I'm, I'm afraid to i'm afraid to cut too much out so i'm just dragging and uh, i think that's the safest way to go all right my dog's barking let me uh let me shut up and get to it roscoe get out of here oh yeah i forgot to mention i've got a i got a load of sand in our uh, dump trailer over here so that came in handy i got two two yards of mortar sand so it'll make my base for my pool and uh yeah, it's in here i gotta roll my net back but i got that's two uh two bucket fulls of sand so two bucket fulls of sand is uh two yards it was uh forty dollars a yard so yeah 80 bucks of sand it's gonna go over there all right, let's get busy. Day three. All right, so I know I've not uh, had many updates on the pool here since the other day when I got it graded out and I was using the tractor. But uh, let's see, what was I doing yesterday? Oh yeah, I got the yard pretty much slicked up back here and uh, I ran over it a few more times with the tractor and got it messed up again, but I'll, that's okay. I'll fix it again. It's drying out real good from the two inches of rain we had a few days ago. So, here we are. I've got the sand in here, and as you can tell, I'm doing the obligatory boards with a rope, and I'm pulling it to level it off, going around, 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 and you know, knocking out the high spots. So, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Well, no, that's really where I am at. Um, but uh, it's looking pretty, pretty good. I don't, I don't really know if I would uh, put a pool up again. Um, the last pool I had was not level because I tried to rush it. But if you do it yourself, 
and uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about how to install an above ground pool and all of the process and procedures you need to go through to prepare the the dirt and the ground but I'm not really going to go into all that I mean you can go look that video up my videos are more of a a vlog style format so you know you can people can come to my to my videos and get bits and pieces of what they need um, to see and maybe they can learn something or they can just stick around and just you know have entertainment that's kind of where that's kind of where my videos fit into YouTube is a little bit of DIY and uh, entertainment so yeah so that's the update on the pool I'm going to continue on uh, getting it leveled off here as good as I can because this time around I'm going to have a level pool I'm not going to have a a redneck pool with the deep end so <laughs> but I really hadn't had a chance to uh, video much because it's just I did, I, it's too much work for one person basically in the video too but as you can see I'm drinking my water and uh, it's gonna be pretty hot today it's uh, I think it's gonna be 82 today and tomorrow it's gonna be 85 I'm hoping by tomorrow I can get the pool walls up that's my goal I don't know if I'll achieve it because I got to put in 14 piers, which basically means I got to dig holes and level all 14 up, which I didn't do last time. <laughs> but this time I'm going to do that. Well, let's see. Another reason why I kind of picked the camera up and stopped for a minute was because uh, basically the sand here has gotten so dry, <clears throat> it's really hard to work with. So I'm going to take the water hose here and uh, I'm just kind of put a little light drizzle over and get it wetting back down a little bit just a little bit not much it makes it a little easier to work with i think so uh, i'm gonna just get it moist not too moist and uh, then we're gonna work with it some more okay. that's really all i need to do right there we're gonna get this uh moistened up and then we're gonna come back out here and level it off some more about it catch y'all later day fall all right guys so here's an update on my pool installation so i've got the base out obviously as you can see and now i just got to make sure it's all good and it's where i want it to be on the deck and everything up there and then the fun part begins i've got to put block where each of these feet are and they all have to be 100% and completely level with the other so I'll bring out my my laser level my rotary laser level and my receiver for that and then we'll we'll just start plugging away at them and making sure they are all level all right four to six days later Well, here's the pool, all installed and completed, and I'm here to tell you, I don't think I will ever install another above ground pool so long as I shall live. And that's a fact. All right. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, <laughs> installing the blocks, they are four by eight, only an inch and a half or whatever thick. But, uh, you know, it's the small blocks you put underneath each uh, foot and under each uh, upright. Even though I was using a laser level um, and also a bubble level, I never thought I would get those things level. 
I kept on going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from a couple I had installed on the deck. And as I was going around each one to get them level, not to mention the fact that I was using a couple different shovels and uh, I was using a spade and I thought it'd be easy to dig and make level. But as you can tell, I've got rocks. I mean, rocks everywhere around here. So it was a job. Um, I finally got all the piers in, so I'll just go ahead and go down here and show you. I, I keep saying piers, but it's not really piers. It's the block that you put the that you put the uh, bottom part on, um, the rail, uh, uh, the bottom piece that the uh, sidewalls um the channel that the sidewalls go in so let me just show you it's easier to show you instead of trying to tell you so what i'm talking about is there's a block under each of these piers so you can't see it the sand i've backfilled this with some sand but there's a block there there's a block there okay you can see this block you can see this block and when we started to put the sidewall in it almost came off that block but there's that block i had to add an extra block to this one there's another block outside of that one so anyway you know there's blocks everywhere so and we are filling the pool got the water hose running and it's being filled and as you can see, it's already a mess. So all the little twigs and stuff that's come off these hardwood trees right here. And they just blow in here. And I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So, and I've got a couple of blocks in here where I had my ladder in here and some towels because I didn't want to damage the liner. I had a ladder in here on that uh, as I was filling the pool and stretching it. So there will be no uh, wrinkles in the uh, liner. So I think, I think I accomplished that. So basically I took the ladder out and I couldn't get back in. So that's the reason why that stuff is there. But we're filling it. And I'm only filling the pool a little bit at a time because I'm on a well. So um, we fill it about 20 or 30 minutes at a time and we uh we don't we don't fill it for about another three or four hours probably a good four hours um i'm really not worried about my water running out of the well um we're, we're pretty deep on the well i'm just i'm worried about my well pump um i don't want to burn up my well pump i mean i've I've heard there's been more cases of people burning up their well pump than actually running out of the water. So, I mean, like that pump's been in the ground here for, let's see, since 2010. So, 14 years. So, you know, I could very well kill it. So, let's just go ahead and, let's go ahead and turn this water off over here. Why? Why I tell you why I would never, ever, ever install another above above ground pool anymore so i'm worn out um after installing the you know after doing the after doing the blocks and uh that wore me out because i had to bend over all day and i'm gonna tell you what the older i get it, it's hard bending over and shoveling and getting things level and a couple of days ago it was just it was so freaking i mean it got hot i mean it got hot in north carolina and the humidity is coming back so um it was just it was horrible but i got that done and then it come time to put that sidewall up I'm here to tell you, if, if you've never put a sidewall up on a, uh, an above ground pool, 
you're in for a treat. I mean, if, if this is something you don't do every day and uh, you're not used to it, uh, let me tell you, it's a bunch of fun. And that, that's one reason why I didn't record any of it. It's just next to impossible. I mean, I, I could have set the camera up or something and did a time lapse, but I just didn't have time for it. So it was the first time we installed the the sidewall. And yes, there were multiple times. Um, the first time I had my 86-year-old dad helping me install this sidewall. I mean, you know, he's he's good. He can he can he can help me balance things and he can help me hold things. You know, obviously I'm not having him pick stuff up. So he was here helping me got it into the got it into the bottom rail down there and everything. So we we had put this entire sidewall in and this is a resin sidewall by the way it's very flimsy but it's but it's very strong but it's heavy i mean when it's rolled up it's heavy but we got the thing in and the first time we put it in and actually screwed there there's there's uh little nuts and screws that go through the wall and the wall comes together behind this pill uh, behind this uh upright it's right back here well <laughs> let me tell you what i did i made a fatal error in the installation of this pool i mean straight up just a fail so it turns out when we put the rail or i'm sorry when we put the wall in the first time <laughs> I had put the, where the wall comes together, I put it about right here. So yeah, um, you know where this is going. The, where the wall comes together is supposed to be behind one of these uprights. And I knew that, I put my last pool together, of course it was well over 10 years ago, so I kind of really forgot how I did it did not put the wall in the right place. And then I said, okay, well fine, I'll deal with it not being in the right place. <laughs> but then as fate would have it, this upright right here was in the way of the skimmer hole. Okay, I can take this off right now. There's nothing back there but the liner because I use my vacuum cleaner. But anyway, um, yeah, so this upright will, the upright was in the same place. I haven't moved this because that's my, you know, that's where I put my blocks. But this upright was here and I had this whole wall back this far. And guess what? <laughs> the skimmer hole was right in front of the, where I put the uh, upright. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Just leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I can I can see it now. But uh yeah, that's what uh that's what happened. So I mean I we gotten so we gotten so far into it at the end of that day, we put the liner in it and I was getting ready to put all the um uprights on it. What do you call it? The the legs on it. And my wife is over here on this side and going, I don't think this is going to fit. And so I'm over there on the other side, you know, putting those uh, legs on it. And so I'm like, what do you mean it ain't going to fit? And man, I tell you what, I come over here and I looked at it. And I was like, oh, no. And it was, it was getting that day. Let's see, this is two days ago. It was getting on to be about eight o'clock at night and it was almost dark and so i just i just hung my head down in shame <laughs> and i said oh no i i i have to fix this so it was about 8 30 quarter to nine 
I ended up taking every upright back off the pool. I didn't have the top cap. I didn't thank God I didn't have top plates on it yet. But I took all the took the liner out of it. And I even had those uh foam coves in it. Which I really didn't like those. Those didn't work out that well. So I had the foam cove in it. I had to take all those out, take the liner out, undo everything I had done. And then I phoned the friend. <laughs> And you know who you are because you're probably you will probably watch my video at least i hope you will but anyway thank god he came over my buddy john came over the next day the next morning and we literally repositioned this entire wall on this pool and we rotated it and put the where you put the wall together and screw it together right here we fixed all that probably within a span of about two hours so john if you're watching video i just want to say i appreciate it thank you so much i owe you a steak dinner or whatever you want so we got it done and i had to get it done because this morning and last night this was yesterday this morning and last night, we probably got another inch and a half of rain. So as you can imagine, time was of the essence. I had to get the pool done. And uh, cause if it would, if I didn't have this liner in this pool and this water going in this pool by this morning or by last night, this, the whole ground would have been a mess. I would have had to redo everything. All my grading, everything would have been for nothing. So yeah, I am never installing another pool again. That's that's that. All right, I think that's going to about wrap up this video. Please leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. And please like my videos. Um, I really do appreciate the support. But that's about all I got in this one. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.